Night of the Killer Rabbits. The first sign was the silence, the usual cacophony of dawn, the chirping birds, the rustling leaves, the distant hum of the tractor, all gone. Replaced by an unnaturally quiet stillness that pressed down on the small town of Willow Creek like a shroud. Then came the shadows. They crept across the edges of vision, long and twitching, obscuring the familiar shapes of the houses and barns. The children, venturing out to play, stared at the shadows, their laughter dying in their throats. A shiver ran down their spines, an instinctive awareness of something wrong. It started subtly. A few mangled vegetables in the garden, a shredded blanket on the clothesline. Whispers of rabbits spread through the town, dismissed as childish fears. But the whispers grew louder, punctuated by the panicked screams of the livestock. One by one, sheep and goats vanished from their pens, their carcasses discovered later, torn and ravaged, eyes wide with terror. The townsfolk, initially dismissive, now found themselves huddled around flickering lamps, their faces pale and drawn. They saw the shadows now, not as figments of their imaginations, but as the ominous silhouettes of creatures too large to be rabbits. Then came the night the rabbits attacked. The shadows coalesced, taking on the shape of monstrous fur-covered beasts with gleaming eyes and razor-sharp teeth. They swarmed the houses, their claws tearing through wood and metal. Windows shattered, screams pierced the night air, and the scent of blood hung heavy in the air. The survivors huddled together, their fear a palpable presence in the darkness. They knew the rabbits weren't ordinary. Their movements were coordinated, their attacks relentless. They hunted in packs, their hunger insatiable. One of them, a young woman named Sarah, ventured out, driven by a desperate hope of finding help. She stumbled through the wreckage, her heart pounding in her chest. A whimper, a soft rustle in the bushes, and a pair of glowing eyes fixed upon her. The rabbit, larger than a dog, lunged, its teeth snapping at her throat. Sarah screamed, her blood-curdling fear mixing with the acrid smell of the creature's foul breath. She barely escaped, racing back to the makeshift shelter. The town of Willow Creek was no more. It had been devoured, its inhabitants vanished, leaving only empty houses and the haunting silence of a town consumed by nightmares. The shadows remained lurking at the edges of the forest, a reminder of the monstrous creatures that now ruled the land. The rabbits, no longer a symbol of innocence and gentleness, were now the embodiment of terror a chilling testament to the darkness that dwelled in the heart of nature. And as the sun rose, casting its pale light on the ruins of Willow Creek, there was only silence, an ominous quiet that spoke of the unspeakable horror that had befallen the town. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.